that's that's why I'm calling. You see, I, I just wanted to ask, and, and I'm, I'm sorry to do this, but do you still have the key? You do? Go. <laughs> All right, boys, we're about to go see Mr. Puss at the hospital. He has now recovered from surgery, and now I'm going to go see my boy because tomorrow we're going to be able to pick him up. They just need to make sure that he's healthy and good to go, but tomorrow we're going to pick him up. But before we go, I'm going to make sure I grab his favorite snack. I actually just thought about this. I don't even know if he can have these, but, you know, nothing's going to stop me from spoiling my boy. So my wife actually beat me to it. She got to see Coco before me. So I'm a little disgusted that I wasn't the first one to see Coco, but she didn't bring him. Softies. Now I have put some of this contraband candies in my pocket in case they say that I can't give them to Coco. So I'll slip him at least one. So let's go see the boy. This definitely isn't like the most fun or happy place because it's a lot of sadness happening at the vet sometimes but in our case it's not very sad but it was a sad day when we brought them so hopefully you know it's gonna be a better day for other folks too waiting waiting to see mr post Waiting, waiting to see the puffs. It's so frustrating, it's taking forever. He said that he needs to be prepped, I guess, or need to get him ready, so. What's that? Do I have a number one? Yes.
Just one so Okay, you guys know. Oh, it's like a baby. No. It's a Yeah, I Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm gonna come and get you. I'll come get you tomorrow. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be back tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Man, I gotta lie. I'm glad that I was able to see him. I'm glad that I was able to get him surgery. I'm glad that you guys was donating this early on to help because we got to get like some special things to take care of him now. But it's not not too many special things. He's only gonna need it to like recover. But man, I'll tell you like some more stuff when I just get in the car. Man, it's just. <sighs> so the saddest thing about that place, man, is it's so many people in there that can't afford to get their dogs the treatment that they need and it's so many people that basically i don't know is just in in the hospital because something went wrong and it's just a sad situation and when you walk in there kind of happy smiling because you want to see your dog there's like two or three other people that are not happy because their situation isn't the same or any or anything bright it's just it is a sad sad place man i don't like going to the hospital for people but going to the hospital for an animal going to the hospital for your pet it is it is it's heart-wrenching man it's heart-wrenching just so many people that look like they're like one are you okay from breaking down it is it's terrible but you know, as you can see, Coco's ready to go home and I'm ready to take him home. So, you know, I don't know, but I appreciate everybody's love and support. I appreciate everybody being so supportive, so nice, so wonderful and all the donations and well wishes and everything that people sent because Coco really needed that. Coco needed that help. Coco needed them blessings from the folks that love him in real life and on the internet and as you can see he's anxious to get out of that cage and go home but thank you guys so much for watching and catching the next one when coco comes home for the update <laughs>